Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pound stretcher haul. Uh, this is like my new love this year is pound stretcher because I didn't realise how good it was. In fact, I don't think I'd even stepped foot in a pound stretcher for maybe like... We're talking maybe like my whole adult life. Like I don't think I've been into pound stretcher... And since I was a kid really, my mum took me in and it was just basically a few weeks ago I came across a pound stretcher and I was like, all right, let's just go into it. I had some time to burn and I was like, wow, it is actually cheaper than some of the home bargains and the B&M's hauls. So I was like, where have I been all this time? So yeah, without further ado guys, I'm going to show you everything I picked up in pound stretcher. This bag's actually really heavy. I got like a really huge bag. So I'm like, ah, God, guys, I'm just lifting that off my thumbnail and I'm literally swaying. That bag is so heavy, I can't remember what I've bought, but it's really heavy. So guys, I'm gonna show you everything I picked up. <laughs> so, the first item I picked up in Pound Stretcher was this steam microwave two-in-one cleaner. Now, I am not into like the whole Mrs. Hinch keeping your house like super mega, 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 super clean, but I do want to obviously clean it. So, my microwave was needing a bit of a clean out and I thought this looks really good. I don't know what you do with it comes in like a little sachet, but basically it's meant to be really a good way to clean your microwave out. And I did try it the other day to clean it out, but I felt like it just needed something a bit more. So yeah, I got this and it was basically, it tells you everything you do on the back, but I'll let you guys know how it gets along. And if you want to see how things like this get along on my day to day life, hit me up on my Instagram. I'll just put my Instagram here, it's at basically a princess. And you see my day to day life there through my Instagram stories. So when I try stuff out, I usually let people know over there. So yeah, I got that. I then picked up this huge bag of crisps because I just thought they looked so nice. Hot and spicy corn crackers, proud to be number one's Indian snack brand. So I got them and I just thought they looked so nice. Look at them guys. I love the consistency of crackers like that because they kind of like melt in your mouth. I almost feel like they melt in your mouth. So um, yeah, they look really nice. I'll probably have them tonight. It doesn't even feel like a Saturday though. I'm filming this on Saturday and it does not feel like it's a Saturday right now and it is. So I'm probably gonna have them after my dinner tonight as a little treat. Another cleaning product guys. I then picked up the Star Drops Multi-Surface Spray and it's meant to smell quite fresh and lemony. Hmm. Yeah, it does smell quite nice. Why have I just smelled cleaner spray? Don't try that at home, kids. Don't try it. Don't smell cleaning products at home. I think it's quite dangerous. And I smelled it at the wrong part as well. Harriet, why did you do that? Why did you smell the wrong part? Yeah, it smells really nice. It smells really clean. Well, what more could I say? It smells clean. It smells very nice. I got that star drop spray. I then picked up some pink household gloves. You get two in a pack. No, you don't. It's a complete lie. You get three in a pack. I feel like I need these more often in my life because when I'm cleaning out the bath, my fake tan is always all over the bath. Um, so I just thought I need a better glove to scrub all the grime off. Um, so I got three pairs of these pink pairs um, because obviously pink's a bit extra. So I've gone for the pink ones and I've only got horrible yellow ones at the moment when I do the dishes. So I wanted a pink pair for the dishes, a pink pair for when I'm cleaning like the grotty areas in the house, which I don't want to use my bare hands cleaning. So I got them. I then picked up some Colgate toothpaste because I'm a bit OCD and I love to have extra stuff in the cupboards. I love to stockpile things so I know I've got like an extra thing in the cupboard. I think I've already got another one in the cupboard at the moment but it'll just add its little pile. It's just quite satisfying to see a little pile of stuff in the cupboard so I got another one of these. I then picked up these cute little candles, two for one pound. It's sweet pea and luxury spa scented candle and I just thought they looked so cute, two for a pound. I'm always burning candles so sometimes I just... They just smell really fresh and obviously they're only going to probably last a day if I've got them burning most of the day if I'm on a day off work. Um, but for two for a pound, they can go to my little, I've got a little candle tray. <laughs> I've got a little candle tray and they can go in my little, not a tray, like a little um, container. They can go in my little container and they can just stay in there for when, I, when I've run out of candles. And yeah, I always have a candle burning, so I got these. I then picked up these 30 Easy Seal Assorted... Um, I was more excited than these than I should have been. They're basically food container sealers. Um, Lou's always opening. I buy like the pre-grated cheese and mozzarella things. You know, you can get in supermarkets. It's like grated red Leicester with like um, mozzarella cheese. And I only buy it because I love the, mozza the grated mozzarella and obviously you can't buy a block of mozzarella. You, you, can't, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? The grated mozzarella you cannot buy as a block. Well, I don't think you can. Anyway, I like the grated mozzarella. So, 
Lou always rips the packet open at the unsealed bit. So when he does that now, I can just be like, okay, I'm not that annoyed about it because I've got these cool grippers that I can put around it. So I'm going to go put these in my kitchen now with great satisfaction and be like, Lou, if you open something and you don't seal it, open it at the right point, you can seal it with these. And I will just feel so happy with my life knowing I've got these there. I forgot to say, well, guys, they're only a pound. I forgot to say they're only one pound and you get 30 assorted sizes and colours. These were actually meant to be my mum's shopping, but I don't know how I ended up with them in mine and I bought them. So they're basically these confetti balloons and um, they're one pound. I think she was going to do some for my birthday, but it's past my birthday now and we both forgot about it and it's been in the bag since. So they'll go in the cupboard and I could just use them for, I don't know, someone else's birthday if I want to add it to a present or something. Um, but you just put the confetti inside the balloon and they were only a pound for four, which I think is quite good because you know what it's like in supermarkets if you see things like this, they're always way more expensive than they should be. So yeah, I got them. I then picked up two new toothbrushes because I needed a new toothbrush and it's a two pack and I also picked it up for the purple one and it does say twister toothbrushes so I feel like they'll be like really good. I don't know what the difference is from them to a normal toothbrush but I did have an electric toothbrush at one point but when I moved out a year ago I left it at home. It's obviously going to be totally manky now and I need to probably buy a full new electric toothbrush at some point but it's not top of my priority right now so I got Colgate. Colgate? Colgate two toothbrushes. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I did pick up these um, Pepsi Max, um, it's not Max Pepsi Max, Pepsi what, um, cans, only like the cans in Pound Stretcher are only 35p each, and I always find that's really good value, but they didn't have any of my Diet Coke, so I just picked up a Pepsi, um, so I'm going to put them in my fridge now and get them all chilled, and then I can have a nice cold Pepsi later on. Um, I think I'm not, I'm not on the wine tonight, I'm back at work tomorrow, night will be a Pepsi and maybe some fajitas for dinner, that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I got that. I then picked up a pink candle lighter um, because my one actually randomly has actually ran out today and I was like, oh no, I need one. So I got this pink one for one pound and I'm literally gonna, the minute after this video is filmed, I'm gonna go light all my candles because I was so sad that my light ran out this morning. So yeah, I've got that and it's only one pound. And also guys, who's with me on the pink one? Like it makes it even better that it's pink. I then picked up a whole black peppercorn um, grinder um, because Honestly, guys, yeah, it's not even funny. For the last month, or even more than a month, if we're having steak night or if we're seasoning stuff, we have to like crush the peppers ourselves because our grinder stopped working. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy I got this, and I really hope it is actually, yeah, it is a grinder. I just thought then I better check it is a grinder, and it is a grinder, so I'm so happy about that because Lou, bless him, when he's making our steak, sometimes I'm like, like choking over a flipping whole peppercorn which hasn't been crushed properly. <laughs> So I'm really happy we've got that. And the other day he was about to bin it. He was he was like about to crush it. And I went, oh, it's okay because I bought a new one. And he went to bin it. And I went, but you can't use it till I film this video. So he'll be happy to know tonight he can use his new black peppercorn grinder. So that is everything, guys, that I picked up in pound stretcher i literally love pound stretcher so much it's such a good shop there just wasn't that many homeware bits today when i went in not today when i went in complete line when i went in the other day there wasn't that many um homeware stuff but hopefully next time i'm going to leave it another three weeks or so till i go in again i always try and leave it a good few weeks between each trip so that they can restock new things and all that jazz so yeah thank you very much for watching guys oh my gosh i got such a fright someone just ran past the flat i was like oh my gosh don't come in I watch too many like murder documentaries, that's why I get creeped. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>